Intel CEO is stepping down, Bob Swan. You were wondering when this was going to happen. Holy CNBC just reported. This is great. We just had this conversation. Get Colby on the line. Oh, wow. Get Colby. Someone get Colby I gotta back. I have my selling I shoes on here. Me. Where did this get to, Joel? Give, I'm going to sell 57, this thing 57, this 57, 57 this bid for done. size. Let's see if they anybody. They hated this stock two weeks ago. Now they love it. <laughs> this market is so finicky. Clearing 56, <laughs> 23. Oh, man. Let's see if we can drill down on the dailies. Do you got an iceberg there at 57, Dennis? Is that you? I thought about selling at 52 the other day. I'm sure glad I didn't do that. It's 57. This thing gets to 60. I'm getting the hell out. So how 59, do you think it feels? Going 59, 85. If it gets there, I'm selling it today. I, we know what we ran out of time, but I almost asked Colby about Intel because he got a lot of the CEO oh, got a lot look of at heat that gap at sixty on that last conference call. Yeah. If they hire is. Lisa Sue, though, <laughs> I'm just oh. I'm not, we're we still bad her rumors on the show. show. Wow. That's what turned AMD around, though. I mean, Intel has lost. How long has Swan been in there? On, uh, on not long. long. Not, not long. that long, eh? No, a couple years. Either way. You've got, you know, 20 years ago, it was Intel inside. If you didn't have Intel, your processor was crap. Now it's all about AMD and NVIDIA. So obviously over the last 20 years, has ever been running this company for the last 20 years, run it into the ground to a certain extent because it has not performed. This was your leader and now it's your laggard. So they love the idea of trying to get somebody else in there. So I agree that the stock should be up. Should it be up 10% on this? That seems overdone to me. How do you think Bob feels right now? <laughs> AMD, look at the relationships here too. AMD chats all over it, getting smacked too. So you got AMD and NVIDIA both going down on this because, whoa, Intel, we got new leadership. Maybe they're going to competition coming. You know what? And, that, and Intel, or, well, AMD, well, it hit its all time high. It was a little weak yesterday in a strong market. NVIDIA has just had this crazy trading range. All right, CNBC is reporting that the VMware CEO is replacing Bob. Swan at Intel. So what's VMware doing? Is he? Oh yeah, VMware is down. This is a lot. Look, oh, look at all the relationships here. There's all kinds of stuff. Going on. <laughs> VMware is down five bucks on this. Remember Dell. If you want to go even further, Dell owns a piece of VMware, a huge chunk of it. So Dell is trading down a dollar on this as well. So one move impacts five companies here. That's relationship trading at its best. So knowing how those work. Intel up, AMD down, Nvidia down, VMware down, Dell down. All because of Swan being out and obviously, how do you say his name? Gelsinger? Pat Gelsinger going from VMware. 59, man. That This is a one minute here. There's no, that right, is, if you want to sell that there. at 59.95, <laughs> you better get your order out there. Oh, well, it keeps going up. Maybe I got to raise her up here. Too much uh, for the Yeah, then it's going to go you to 60. You want to hear? Oh, no, I'm here. <laughs> it's going to go to 62. And I have no order out there yet. You're not going to sell it. <laughs> and it's going to go to 54. And you're going to cry it's going about to, it. It might go to 60 right now. 58. Holy cow. Now Robin Hood's got a hold of it now. When Robin Hood gets a hold of it, whoa.